So we're in section 10.1, whose title is Inverse Functions. The topics are one-to-one -one functions. Turns out we need one-to-one -to, -one to have inverses. The horizontal line test for graphs to tell if a function is one-to-one. -one. Looking at graphs of inverses, if you know the graph of a function, how do you get the graph of the inverse? And looking at formulas for inverses, if you have the formula for a function, how do you find the formula for the inverse? So we'll start off with just an introduction to the concept of one-to-one -one. using this example of encrypting four-digit passcodes. That's to say you have a four-digit code you need to log into some account. Um, you want to email it to somebody else. But you don't want to email the code itself because that code is vulnerable, so you would send an altered version of the code in some other way. And so one way to do it is by having a table like this, which you have already sent to your friend, that says that I've taken my code and taken the original numbers and turned them into these encoded numbers. So 3476, 3476. 3 became a 2, 4 became a 1, 7 became an 8, and a 6 became a 9, like that. So your partner sees this number, 2189. They have access to the table. They see the 2, they know it came from a 3. They see the 1, they know it came from a 4. They see the 8, it came from a 7. And they see the 9, it came from a 6. They can reconstruct the original password from this altered password. So the table can be used backwards to decode an encoded password. In fact, let's pick a number. 4815, 4 was a 1, 8 was a 7, a 1 was a 4, and a 5 was a 2. Now you see, for this to work, we, don't, we can't have two original values corresponding to the same encoded value. So when I'm looking up 5, here's a 5 here. I said the 5 came from a 2. If there were two 5s on this side, I wouldn't know which one it came from. I wouldn't be able to decode it. So each encoded value corresponds to exactly one original value. How do we say that? No two original values can, be, can correspond to the same encoded value for this to work. This type of function where there's only one choice of x for a given y. Pick a y that you have. Only one x makes it. Those kinds of functions are called one-to-one -one functions. And you can see if you wanted to go backwards in this encoding process, the encoding table has to be one-to-one. Uh, -one. And if you want to go backwards in any type of function process where you've got x and f of x, and from f of x you really want to reconstruct x, then the function that you started with has to be a one-to-one -one function. Otherwise, you don't know which one to go back to of two different values corresponded, two same values corresponded to different x values. You wouldn't be able to undo the function. So that is the situation. We'll be looking at one-to-one -one functions. And how do we tell the function is one-to-one? And one-to-oneness turns out to be the characteristic you need to create inverse functions. And we'll be investigating that more thoroughly as this section continues. And I'll be back in a minute.